Well, I was approached over the summer, 2008, and I was told about a scheme where they fund uh, up to £2,500 for sports relief. And um, what you do is you take the money, you use any medium of sport you wish, and it's to promote uh, stopping things like antisocial behaviour, underage drug and alcohol use, just all the bad natures you don't want children getting into, and giving them something else to replace it with. My event is featuring parkour, and it features two of the very first ever trusters to ever begin parkour. Thomas and uh, Stefan from Parkour Generations. They, they've been brought over as their experienced tutors. They have the ADAPT certification, them two and a handful of others, the only people with the parkour certification in the world. They're going to teach all these youth. Most of the youth you see here have never even heard the word parkour. Some have, some already training. And it's just, it's the idea of giving them something new to do instead of standing around the streets. You know, if they're going to stand around the streets, let's give them something to do because parkour has that unique experience where you don't need equipment, you don't need a venue, you don't need halls, you can do it basically any weather, you can even treat it on your own. So this is the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect sport solution to all this problem of children being bored, not having enough to do, not enough parks, not enough venues, not enough under 18 venues. And I'm hoping it's successful and they come away learning something new and experience. It's absolutely freezing and the French guys say they can't move. They're so glad it's going to be an indoor venue, even though they're used to teaching outdoors because they said it would take them at least an hour just to warm up because they're so cold. I'm sure they were used to warmer weather. But uh, it's been great. They've been very humble. They've been very pleasant. They don't let the idea of training for over 10 years and being some of the first kids to their head. Uh, the moment I met them, they were instantly like a friend. Uh, I brought them to my country. I'm obviously going to be a good host. Uh, being the organizer, I have to make sure everything goes smoothly. I have to tend to them, tend to you, tend bus, the venue, everything. But that was what the Sports Relief Project was about. It was about giving me the authority, giving me the the chance to do all this. No, well, I had help in a sense of, you know, know how of what to do, like people help me book flights. Uh, you know, asking a friend or here, you know, go collect this. There's a few friends up at the venue at the moment sending equipment out. But as far as the actual construction, organization, and direction of the project, it's been myself. And it's good because they said it will be a learning experience. You'll come away from so much. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it, but you get a sort of certificate that acts as a qualification. This proves that you know you you show the capability of manager, manager places, organisation, direction, and uh, everyone's going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. It's been stressful until now, but now that it's happening, great. Basically, it's 
management of traveling from one point to the other, so it's basically used to practice our time.
bit of narration. This side is more people that are older and a bit more advanced have a bit of practice. This side's beginner. And an introduction to what their what parkour is. As you can see, they're both practice the same thing, but obviously one is bigger and smaller. But unfortunately for me, I can't even fully participate. Unfortunately for me, I can't do it at all. I know, but I booked the event. Months in advance before my thumb surgery. It takes that long to organize. It ends up being eight or nine weeks after the thumb surgery. They're going really great. Uh, it seems like everyone is enjoying themselves and, well, exhausted, really. But uh, it seems it's been pretty good for our first time. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's you really fun. Yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I didn't even do the warm up. I went in for one, one wee bit. And then Eason's are doing it with the warm up, so I'm impressed.
the equipment that we have it's not uh, it's not the best we don't have that many things but we work with what, hit, what we have and uh, I think it's going fine what do you think of the, the potential of the players in North America? I, a lot of potential but yeah everywhere anyway when there's motivation there's potential so quite happy with that there's a good energy everyone's quite um, uh, willing to train and uh, it's good it's good have you gotten used to the weather yet? Uh, personally, yeah, Stefan, maybe not. Uh, I'm used to the cold, so it's fine, but uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's see, run, you step up, so one leg push, the other one lift you up, right? And when you land, you land two feet. I don't want to see things like this. Okay? I really want to see you jump. The parkour is all about the flips. How's it going? Have a good day. How's it going so far? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to me when I finish it. It's fantastic, I just can't do it. <laughs> A nice amount of pain. What time of the day do you stretch? Huh? What time of the day do you stretch? Because I've been told it's dangerous to stretch before oh, sport. Mainly it's in the evening. I do all my stuff during the daytime. After activity? And after what? After sport uh, activity. Usually I don't stretch that much straight after the training. I give me a break. I, what I do usually, I do an intense training session. I stretch just for five minutes just to relax a bit, and I, I do what I have to do, I go back home, blah blah. And later in the evening, I take 40 minutes, an hour with uh, relaxed music, and I really take my time, and I, I go a bit deeper. And, so, yeah. and yeah, I do this two, two or three times a week, really long, one hour stretching session. What age were you when you started? No, no, I was, uh, I was very weak. I was, uh, Unflexible, I was crap. Believe me, I was crap. So it's, it's just about work and time. You know, it's been 10 years now, so for me it's, very, it's a bit easier than you, obviously. And I would be pissed off if straight away you could do everything I do without training. 
<laughs> so I just time and a lot of training. I started like anybody else. Really. I, was, I couldn't even do pull up or something. No, I see I could. But uh, I was doing really, really, really good. Like, and still today I'm not the, the, the strongest in the team. You have guys like uh, even Thomas or Forrest but, uh, or Dan, or stamina, they can train all day long. I'm more explosive and after a few hours of training I'm getting a bit tired. So I'm, I'm not the strongest. Not the strongest. My neck's killing me. I'm begging you not to, it's not a thick enough mat, please, for the love of God, do not try it. Your muscles are going to explode. The guy is an event organizer. Um, <laughs> how things going? And, uh, now that you've managed to win the race. Yeah, they're on their fourth night. Already done my Stay there, stay there. I'll get them all behind you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Nice. 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 Shot there of uh, everybody else well. running. <laughs> Gary standing here. I got a cramp in my right shin muscle. Right. I know it's a bad excuse, but seriously, I don't want to. Pull it now and then blow myself out for the rest of the day. Endurance isn't my strong point. You just I do too much explosive and strength training. Not enough endurance. <laughs> the most endurance we get is beating the crap out of each other on Thursday nights. It's a lovely day for it, Gary. Oh no, I couldn't account for that. It was actually Stefan and Thomas's idea to just keep it outdoors, and I still think it was a good idea because they're right about what they said. The gym can only offer so much. And uh, we already done it yesterday, and I really do believe another three hours in the same setup would have been boring to anyone. Yeah. And uh, rain, sleet, snow, whatever, I still think we're gonna have a more interesting time. Even this, just group jogging, everyone seems to be enjoying. We're going to do about 20 minutes of motion walking forward, backwards. If you need to rest, you rest in this position. Here. Trust me, you can rest. Breathe in, out, focus on your ground, breathe in, rest. Don't put your knees on the ground. Yeah, I don't want to see you crouch when you rest. Breathe on the ground, I'm standing up. Okay? Well, this is quadruple movement. 
just for those who don't know what quadruple movement means, it's just moving on all fours. Uh, they're asking us to quadruple move on in all sorts of directions. This is an, an exercise that just basically works your whole body. Some some argue it's nothing special, but in my opinion, I think it is. Uh, especially if you move really fast, but everyone's moving quite slow because we're in a small area and there's a lot of us. But uh, we're just sort of doing uh, like a circuit where you walk forward, coming up to your right. You don't turn. You move. You actually move. Walk like a crowd to the right, then backwards. And back up. So we're just sort of doing laps. And uh, it's, not, it's not so much an exercise, it's more of a warm up. Just gets the body used to move. It's part more stuff where you use your whole body. Sadly, I can't. It's, fun, it's funny because I can use my thumb, but what I was trying to do was just walk with the hand like this, and even the pressure pushing against these bones, I could feel it. And I just didn't want to take the risk. And then I tried on my knuckles, and only got about five steps. In <laughs> but uh, it's annoying. But then again. I can sit back and make sure everything's going smoothly. No broken teeth. Don't want, don't want no swimming. Swimming even more. been in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but it's really, <laughs> really tiring. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, it's okay. Ah, just go on the ground. It's quite horrible. Look at the aftermath. Yeah. Party. I didn't jump up in the box. I was leaning on. Jumped up on it. It's the hardest train in my life. <laughs> I know, uh, I'm enjoying it in the fact that I get to train with these guys, but I'm not enjoying it as in I'm dying here. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> No, 
Now this time, same principle, guys. Go forward on the left, come back on the right. Uh, this one, leg straight, arm straight. You're here. <laughs> forward, you push on your toes, you contract your abs, and you lift up your feet close to your hands. Again, up, up. When you come back, here, and you push on your shoulders and fingers. Here. Okay? <laughs> and don't forget, when you come back, we use your finger. It's going well. Yeah. But just a bit cold. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's going well. Plenty uh, well. of potential in Belfast for Yeah, dedicated, uh, motivated uh, young people. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Just need a few tips yeah. to to try and to be pushed a bit, a bit, a bit more, a bit harder. Yeah. yeah. The, but it's cool. They have got good spirit, friendly. Uh, yeah, very friendly. That's cool. I appreciate that. They help each other, they support each other. Yeah. It's good. good yeah. And uh, this is your first time here? Yeah, so it is. You like it? Yeah, yeah it, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Nice city, we have nice weather today. A bit cold. <laughs> but uh, for you guys, maybe it's alright. Yeah, it's, it's the, not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think Gary has done well putting this together. Yeah, definitely did a great job. Yeah, yeah. that's Good cool. Stuff. Yeah, I think the guy can thank uh, Gary and uh, hopefully next year I'll be able to do the same thing again. I mean, that's was his plan basically yeah. do this session like a, a test a test okay. if everything goes well people are happy with it maybe we'll have a, another opportunity next year a bit bigger with yeah. more people involved hopefully okay. thank you cool. uh, this is a really good exercise for the ass the like la ladies really appreciate this Siggy knows Siggy does a lot of these you can see uh, I'm really sick I don't like it <laughs> he's not working today because uh, he can't work the ass too much I do feel that Better. It hurts. Yeah, it Today's going really, really well. It's um, the frost has disappeared a little bit. The ice has disappeared a little bit. Uh, we're getting a bit of sun out, and the bodies are warm as opposed to the freezing state that we started in. So, uh, lovely, lovely flashbacks of doing this in France as well. And the pain is just still there. But tomorrow morning, I'll be sitting in an office again. So, yeah. we'll try and keep limber. Keep limber. <laughs> Oh, it's deadly. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> deadly. I can't. I actually, I actually can't hack it. Yes, you can't hack yeah, it. Really? It's, it, well, when we're back, like it's so hard. Yeah. So we just. Want one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So really hard, but the guys have me doing press ups and stuff. So. Push on your legs, pull on your arms at the same time in order to reach the right. Did you get the movement? <laughs> yep. So it's, it's a way to do some conditioning because you jump, lift up your knees so the arms work at the same time, your touch works as well. The foot placement.
We were like, oh my god, oh my god, it's alright. I knew it was Steve. Yes, anyway, it's alright. You alright, kid? Hey guys, did you get that on camera? Oh, yes. Oh, I've been a good one. Shh, shh, shh. No! Hey, so it reminds me of something today. It's wet, right? And we're not doing big stuff. We're just trying to pay attention on every single movement we do. So. Even if it's small, I really want you to, to, to do the jump like, like if it was uh, your life you would put in danger. In a, you, you know, like if, you, like if you were risking your life for real. And if you were, really, trust me, you wouldn't talk with your friends while you're jumping or you wouldn't think about what you're doing tonight while you're jumping. But if, if it was a real, real gap here, trust me, you would be 100% focused. The heartbeat, like this, and your, all your intention will be there because there's a real danger and I would like you to leave each movement like this like, like if it was a real danger and if you really work with your imagination like this you will improve much much more with a day like this because it's a bit wet, it's a bit dodgy, it's risky, tricky, awkward if you really put your, your, your state of mind in this condition, use your imagination and, and be more focused you will gain much more of this training really so I know we're not doing big stuff but I really want you to be and, and with a, a proper spirit and a state of mind. Okay? So, voilà, well, that's just uh, one of the things. Alright? Okay. I slowly fade into the night After a short painful goodbye After I closed the door, turned out the light Kissed you goodnight Should this be the last time That I ever see you? Cry them with the tears I'm trying
questions fire up or if you want to yeah is it always just people <laughs> <laughs> no the more you do the, the you see the, the less uh, it will be painful no. it's just uh, i guess you're not maybe used to train like this regularly that's why if you start doing it regularly you see it will be it's a bit uh, annoying the first weeks or months but then it's 
just a habit and then you see your body will get used to it, your mind as well. You see the, 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 the hardest bit really for, uh, at our level now is just to get to do uh, a step outside. Just you know you're warm inside and uh, the, the most difficult is to get out. But once you're out, you start warming up after 10 minutes. It's alright, you're you to do the session. So I guess it's just uh, a habit to get for me. Yeah. Just run regularly, a bit. Yeah, three times a week should be okay. And rest between is very important as well. Something about resting, eat uh, healthy, not not too much Burger King, <laughs> uh, stretching. You know, like like we used to say, um, it's not all about the session during the session. It's and also on the side of the session, how you sleep, how you eat, uh, how you stretch, uh, your environment with your family. Sometimes you need to to put your mind away of parkour or training. Sometimes your life, your lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. So. Don't be focused only on your training, resting is, uh, is also very important, you need to find a balance. <laughs> no, so I hope uh, that Boise, Thomas and I uh, brought a little bit to you guys, even if for just a few days, few few hours of training. I hope it, it helped a little bit and you, you will remember some of the exercise or, or the intensity of the spirit of the day and you keep it for you and uh, then you keep going on with this in your mind and uh, hopefully we'll meet again here or whatever, wherever, sorry. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> At least in the summer if it's going to be and, uh, heavy and banger. <laughs> <laughs> banger? No. I'm not even going to explain that to okay. Many people will kill me. <laughs> So uh, hopefully we, we, we brought you a little bit. That's what that was our aim, uh, main goal for us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for you guys for coming. Thank you, thank you to Gary as well. He made it possible. Hey, he made it so possible. Welcome. So that's really cool. You can all pay me afterwards. <laughs> you have to sit on an airplane now for how many hours? <laughs> no, not that long. It's about an hour. Well, the airport. Yeah, it's just exactly the, for the security, security check. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, you can just stretch or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you, know, you know, airport security don't look too fondly on any kind of you know, odd behavior. <laughs> Terrorists! <laughs> <laughs> don't film. Uh, I think I got built for a couple of words. Is there anything to say now? No. <laughs> As, as Stefan said, thanks to everyone for, for coming and for training and, uh, and yeah, hopefully as he said, uh, you'll, you, will, you have learned some stuff from, from what you did today, so hopefully next time we see you there's going to be some, uh, some progress from now. Yeah, we will maybe we'll try to, to make it in seven. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>